this video we explore how to create levels. Uh, levels are required in order to um, associate story heights uh, with your building. So if we go to Revit, so in our project we already have this the grid line set up. So to these levels, in order to put them in, we've got to be in an elevation view, right? So select one of these elevations, maybe say north. Um, and you will notice that the architectural template automatically comes with two levels. So you've got your ground level at, at point zero, right? Um, and then your level one is 4,000 millimeters above your ground floor. Yeah, we can we can uh, play around with, with these levels so you can shift them up. So you can shift them up or down and you notice how the number changes. So now it's 3200 decreased. Um, again, the same concept of blocking applies uh, to leveling, just like I demonstrated for the grid lines. If I were to remove the lock, it means that I can move this level independent of the ground floor level. Um, another point is that if I wanted to put in an additional level, so I can go uh, architecture and then level and then the other way around so starting from here and up until we see the dashed line so that it locks okay so if we want to rename these so maybe call that the ceiling level and click yes and rename that to the roof okay so we've got three levels now created um, and then maybe make your ceiling at a level of 3600 and then the roof is at um, 3800 so leave a 2 uh, or maybe so if you've got trouble viewing uh, you know, the letters just decrease the scale so maybe 1 to 20 um, and then you can drag uh, these uh, sort of the reference to the level up uh, especially when you've got a small gap between two levels uh, let me increase that uh, to mm, let's say 4200 so just leave that gap between your ceiling and your roof for your services so basically this is the concept of uh, viewing levels if the right if the, if the writing is too small again increase the scale so maybe 1 to 50 that seems all right um, drag these back as well so maybe drag these as well Okay, and now we're done.